Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gambo here and as you maybe already recognized, um, this week I was a little bit late by releasing the English part of the video that I already released in German and there are two reasons for it. First of all, I am a little bit lazy, yeah, I know, I know, my fault. Second of all, um, I got, a, I got a slightly issue with this video, especially this video, because I tried to produce my first 60 FPS video, not only 60 FPS, but uh, 1080p or 1080p resolution and uh, 60 FPS. But uh, it didn't work out like uh, like I wished to. So um, it was it is a 1080p video that I was able to release and upload to YouTube, but it's not 60 FPS, sadly wise. And right now I'm not sure what it was. Um, maybe it's some kind of my fault that I did something wrong or uh, maybe there is some kind of issue between the recording program I'm using or recording software I'm using and the uh, producing software that I'm using or maybe producing software is not the right word for it, rendering software so uh, did you know what's what, what's going on but i think uh, sooner or later i'm sure about that sooner or later i'm going to get to know what's wrong there so that i will be able to fix that problem in the future and um, to share some not only 1080p quality videos but also 60 fps so that i will or that the quality for my videos will again increase because this is the main target for me to increase the quality of my videos or the footage i'm sharing with you so that the level of entertainment hopefully for you will raise but enough of that so today we're going to test something new in pvp it's just uh, a few i prepared three games for you where you will have uh the opportunity to take a look on a different enchant because right now i've already enchanted my weapons back with dancing steel because this is the best enchant you can choose you can you you, you, you can choose for pvp and pve but in the video you're going to see me uh using elemental force and yeah as in the description, permanently enchants a melee weapon to sometimes inflict nearly 300 additional elemental damage when dealing uh, dealing damage with spells and melee attacks. Cannot be applied to item higher than level 600. So, not bad at all. During the footage you're, you're going to watch, I also will try to answer some of the questions which are send it to me not only from my german viewers but also from my english viewers and when i say english viewers i don't mean that you're from england or, or great britain i mean that the the message you have sent me um or or, or the question you have sent me in form of of, of comment uh, of a commentary in my video or personal message um was sent to me in english language so yeah this is what i mean when i say english yeah so Hopefully uh, this 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 uh, this solves solves some some issues that <laughs> appeared in the past, but uh, anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, let's take a look in the upcoming footage I prepared you for you how well it does work for us in PvP right now on level ninety in patch six point zero point three. How well it's it works for us to use elemental force instead of using dancing steel in PvP. So let's get into the games. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and here we are in the first game I prepared for you by using uh, elemental force instead of using um, dancing steel as an enchant on my weapons. And uh, I have to say, it didn't felt wrong. Yeah? I mean, when someone would ask me, Gambo, how competitive is it against uh, Dancing Steel? Hmm, difficult to answer. But I would admit that it didn't feel weak. It was not so that I would say, yeah, it, it enhanced our performance in the best possible way. But I would admit that uh, it, was, it, it was okay. It, 
that's my opinion, but I mean, yeah, it's still, it is, you shouldn't forget, this is just a temporary test for here and for now, because um, sooner or later, with wallets of Draenor, um, it didn't paste, uh, it won't do matter anymore, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you're only able to en enchant a weapon with uh, an item level of under 600, so, yeah, sooner or later it doesn't, doesn't matter anymore, so yeah, this is the, that's the point. But anyways, so um, I did this test, and um, like I said, it didn't feel wrong. Yeah, I didn't felt overpowered, or, or it didn't felt like, uh, oh man, this is so huge, this is so much damage. But it also felt not like uh, like a completely waste of time. It, it was fun. It was just testing, not bad at all. And uh, like I said, right now it's. It's pretty hard, for me, it really is pretty hard to say to, 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 or, or to downrate, most of the time I downrate it, um, Enhancer or Enhancement Shaman for PvP in Wallows of Draenor and I would still do that, I'm pretty concerned, yeah, I, I'm really, I'm really are because the damage we're doing is, oh, it's so hard to bring a target down. Yesterday I did some testing, exclusively testing with my buddy Nutian. And Nutian is playing a full equipped uh, Retribution Paladin, also 550 gear. And uh, he also knows how to play or how to how to get the best performance out of his class as a player with skill, not with a button or, or whatsoever. No, no, as as a as a player, really, he is really good. So uh, we did some testing, and he also admitted that he said, "Man, you know what?" Uh, Damage is like uh, you need you need a huge uptime. Yeah, you really need to constantly be up on your opponent. And best opponents are for us are uh, some caster or range classes, as long as they don't use their defense cooldowns. Because rogues, as an example, are hard for us because they do evade a lot of our attacks so that we have like we are close to him but we have like zero uptime and we know we need the hits we need to hit our opponents because we need to get some millstone weapon up so that we can enhance our offense or defense in self heal or in in damage cost so this is pretty important and um, right now it, it's against warriors when they do die by the sword or uh, defense classes or, or de uh, classes which have defenses like evasion for example rogues it's it's hard because um, they they just it's like like a natural counter against us yeah we, we have they, they they decrease our uptime on them we are not able to deliver as many hits as we would need to, to stress them out. But it's not always that easy. I mean, yeah, a rogue that has no, no defense cooldowns available, um, it's far easier to fight that kind of rogue compared to, to a rogue which has all cooldowns available because they, they still can blind us, they still can use uh, Cloak of shadow, uh, sh Shadows against us and these are all these cooldowns are pretty huge against, uh, especially against um, against uh, enhancer. But uh, also, what's 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 weird when you think about it, they nerfed our ascendant form. In ascendant form, when you f uh, when you, during MOP, when you used ascendant form and and the smart rogue, rogue was able to to uh, disarm you, which is not anymore available, or uh, using Clock of Shadows, it was like your standard form was useless. Yeah, you did no damage because all damage you did in ascendant form was was elemental damage. So with one cooldown, he he was able to to counter your main DPS cooldown, and this was crazy. And by nerfing our uh, our offense main offense cooldown ascendant, they also pushed us or buffed us against rogues because right now uh, yeah when they do use evasion and, and cloak of shadows 
it's still pretty hard to do some damage against them because most of the time they do just they are able to evade any damage huh? which would be delivered by us to them but uh, like I said by by nerfing um, nerfing ascendant so that we are doing auto attacks which are uh, ignoring armor of our opponent they gave us um, like like they increased our chance or they increased our performance especially against rogues which is not bad at all because rogue is still a class that is when a good player is playing a rogue it's pretty hard to get him down uh, it, it really is they they uh, sometimes it's pretty weird they are uh, capable of doing so much damage and have so much control in the in, in the fight against us that it's just horrible it, it really is but uh, on the other hand um, sometimes they also feel very very squishy I mean yeah you, it, it's hard to say because most of the time you, you never it, it's pretty rare to meet one and the same rogue over and over again in the battleground especially in a random, random battleground so it's hard to say for me how competitive they are but uh, it doesn't feel anymore as bad as it was somewhere in the past I mean it was um, the most hilarious time for me as an enhancer fighting against rogues was during I think it was during uh, Cataclysm the Cataclysm Adam. Oh my god. Some of them were uh, they just just a nightmare. Really just a nightmare, especially when they when they have some uh, legendary weapons available. They were so badass. Oh my god, this was hilariously uh, I died always always in in just like a blink yeah, it really was pretty hard pretty hard but uh, it is what it is and yeah uh, an enhancer most of the time it was to be really good as an enhancer for me it always felt very uh, very difficult to do that yeah I mean it was always very, also very satisfying but it felt hard to be competitive as an enhancer because enhancer for me and maybe this is the hate love I mean I love the I, I, I love the class there was no question about that but I also hate someone sometimes I really hate what Blizzard is doing to, me, to me, my beloved enhancer so it's love relationship to the class but it's a hate relationship to what Blizzard sometimes going to do with us so yeah, this is my relationship uh, to, to Enhancer. Like I said, I love the class, but I hate what sometimes uh, Blizzard is doing to us. So, yeah, right now still, um, still it's hard to say how competitive or how competitive we will be during uh, Wall of Ukraine. My, my, my personal main concern is the whole story about totems, because also on, on level 100 you will have two talents which you have two of three talents uh, which you have to choose and um, it's two of them are very concerning to me storm elemental totem is concerning to me and liquid magma totem and the reason for it is pretty simple as I already uh, mentioned in some of my uh, older videos or I think it was the last thing I did it's uh, to kill the elemental and no matter if it's the, the, the earth elemental, fire elemental or, or uh, storm elemental it's hard because they do have some hit points but you can instead of doing that you can kill the totem and I'm not sure how much uh, life the totem will have on level 100 but uh, I think it will have something about 10,000 life something like this maybe 12,000 when you just use uh, totems vigor uh, the major glyph which I would never use because it's a waste of, of a major totem uh, major glyph uh, so don't do that it's uh, absolutely wrong decision so depending on that yeah it, maybe they these are two useful skills but think it think about this way this is a uh, storm elemental totem is a five minute cooldown but it takes only maybe what will it take 
two seconds, maybe three seconds to kill the totem instead of killing the elemental. And then your cooldown is gone. It's game over. Yeah, the, the cooldown is gone. Your five minute cooldown is gone. And also for a liquid magma totem, it has 45 seconds cooldown, which is uh, not bad. Yeah, it's okay. But also it takes only one second to just kill any or most of your fire totems. It will kill only one second because your searing totem or what's still available, what, what, what was the second uh, fire totem? Magma totem? I think it was the magma totem. It still has only uh, five hit points. So, yeah. For example, you're using your magma totem or your searing totem, then you use um, then you use liquid magma, and your opponent kills the totem, and you wasted your 45 second cooldown. So there was no increasement, no pressure on your opponent because your totem is dead, yeah. <laughs> and you have to wait another 45 seconds. Uh, this doesn't sound well. Uh, this still sounds concerning to me so like I already said I would wish to see a rework from Blizzard on our totems and the best way for me the best way or my personal idea would be to, to make the totems surrounding us not being anymore in the area yeah, like you'll see here on the screen but just to surround us like the uh, uh, like, like our uh, lightning shield just surround us and not being any more attackable and yeah, still and also I mean this sounds just more useful to me you just calling your your whatsoever totem maybe even one one of your elements and instead of being binded to a limited area it's binded on you but when you want to make um, sure that your 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 team your uh, raid whatsoever gets benefit uh, from the totems you're calling, uh, you have to make sure to be close to that, which sounds far more playable for me as um, forcing maybe your your raid or yourself to be in an area where your totem is active. Because yeah, I mean you can call another totem of the same school. Yeah, maybe as long as you have no cooldown on that. Um, but it takes always time and this is the major concern I have because for me it always is like uh, uh, when it comes to PvP is like who needs less time to apply more pressure but um, to do so as an enhancer you always need to apply you always need to waste time on deploying totems to be on the other hand to 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 like buy enough time to stay alive so this is some it doesn't feel right to me like you need to be fir first of all you need to waste time on on uh, placing totems before you can go and apply some pressure so this is i know it maybe sounds weird maybe i'm absolutely wrong and you're free to correct me or flame me about that but this is what I feel yeah, when I do play my Enhancer, and as I said, I love my Enhancer, I love my Enhancer, but sometimes I hate what Blizzard is doing to us, so yeah. But enough of this whining, let's try to answer some of your questions. So some of you are asking me constantly about, uh, about uh, what, what macros. That's not a problem, but what kind of macro do you want? <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not difficult to write a macro. It's really pretty simple, yeah. And when you just uh, go to Google and, and uh, you type World of Warcraft or short one VOV um, macros for enhancer, you will find millions of them. Maybe thousand, maybe not millions, but thousands whatsoever. So that's not the problem. If you want me to, to show you a macro, then you have to... It's easier for me to say for you what kind of macro you should use when you tell me what do you want. Hopefully uh, this will solve the problem. Um, a different, uh, another question that I get over and over 
asked is uh, which in hand uh, which shaman is the best or which shaman uh, you should play elemental or enhancer so when your background is like you played already a damage range damage dealer maybe a mage maybe a warlock whatsoever then my advice is going to my advice for you is start with the elemental shaman why because it's also a caster so this should be far more familiar to you and and should allow you to to make the class for you working instead of um coming from 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 a caster background to a melee background because this is a different story so it's like i said when you ask me which one you should play then i would ask what's your background and when you tell me also yeah i've played a healer i would also say try elemental for first because it's far more it's also a caster and it should be far more familiar even by doing damage instead of healing it should be far more easier for you to to make this class work for you instead of going like in a whole different direction and playing melee and um yeah i don't say that it's impossible it's not so that it's impossible i mean some of you are very very highly skilled far more than i ever will be will be uh, you're also adopting very very easy new things so feel free to try out whatever you do yeah absolutely I mean just getting new experience is always something good I mean good experience don't do experience like uh, you know, I'm jumping off uh, a building or whatsoever because gamble said it's always good to get new experience no guys this is, seriously this is not a good experience yeah I mean it's also not a good experience to to, to try to stand in the way of a truck or a train it won't stop if it does then it's lucky for you but don't try to get that kind of experience so yeah anyway um, so yeah always depending on your or on, on your background when you're when you played caster no matter if it was a healer or, or a damage dealer try out an elemental channel because then it should be easier for you to make this work for you. Yeah, this is my opinion. And also, uh, right now it seems to be so that uh, because of the last one of the last um, hot fixes, mm, it seems to be so that Lamantle Shaman is slightly um, or has slightly better performance than Enhancer. Yeah, because they increased shamanism I think it was shamanism so that uh, so that uh, one of the major damage sources will do some increased damage yeah they increased shamanism by I think what was it nearly 50% so that it does increase the damage of lightning bolt right now by 70 70% instead of 35 30 36% so this is a huge buff this or is it a huge buff? I can tell you so far in my raid right now. Um, I have also a, there is also a, a Lamantel Shaman, and he already did pretty well. And also has nearly the same um, the same item level I have, and in most boss encounters in Siege of Ogrima, he did pretty well already. Yeah, very close to the damage I was doing. After um after the the, the hotfix which increased uh the damage for his lightning bolt um most of the time he it's it's easier for him to get more or just to do more damage than i do and at most in, uh, at, at most encounters my personal damage in siege of Ogrima with the item level of 585 lays between 12 12,000 dps to 20k and now you ask how is it possible that there is such a huge difference the difference comes from the way enhancer does damage you need a huge uptime on your boss to apply 20k damage it really does yeah and also you have to uh, there, you, you need to make sure not to to screw your routine up 
When you does, you lose some DPS. It's not, not a huge thing. You will still do good damage, but then you're not able to uh, hit the 20k. Or let's say 90 to 18k. Yeah, 18. So it always really de depends on the uptime. I mean, um, in the last Siege of Ogrima, on what was it? Let me just, just a second. Siege of Ogrim. No, that's not the point. There it is. No, no. Oh, come on. What the? Oh my god, I'm wasting my time, guys. There it is. There it is. Siege of Ogrim. So, uh, where it is? Where is it? So, on the Iron Juggernaut, I did something about 13, 12 to 13,000 DPS in the whole fight. Because there is the huge knockback, yeah? And during this time, I'm losing DPS, like every melee DPS uh, damage dealer, yeah? But uh, on Malkorok, I did pretty well. I did 18 to 19,000. So you'll see, depending on the uptime you have, and then Malkorok is like, I really have, um, I always stay close to him, I always can do damage. Yeah, there is, I have 100% uptime on this boss. And depending on that, my damage looks so good so yeah this is the way enhancer looks right now and hopefully I, I, I was able to to answer your question which which uh, shaman you should play so when your background is already a mini try out enhancer when your background is already caster healer or whatsoever range damage dealer uh, try out uh, la Mal. it should be far easier to make it work for you on my own so uh, let's focus a little bit more on the game or is there is there more questions I could answer yeah also um, it's like I said I'm concerned about uh, how effective or how good we will be in in uh, Wallace of Drain or, or with level 100 in PvP but uh, I also have to admit that when we are able to use our defense cooldown, like I'm doing most of the time, using my spirit wolf, uh, spirit wolf, so uh, uh, my, my feral spirits, in, in with the combination of, of uh, glyph of feral, uh, feral spirit, which increased the healing by 40%, and also uh, using the right talents like uh, rushing streams in combination with healing stream totem it looks like we are pretty tanky because the healing is very very good I mean damage is less good we are doing right now but even um, and this was the point by doing some some duels and doing some some PvP against uh, Nutsian it appears that uh, damage is not what it should or could be for us but it looks like we are pretty tanky but still at this point it still is concerning for me by using rushing streams because um, it only works as long as the healing stream totem is alive and also this totem has also only five hit points so uh, yeah not what it should be or what it could be but okay enough of that let's focus a little bit more on the game um, I also watched some uh, Blizzard Con, and I have to say a lot of stuff uh, they they showed and they talked about um, makes me feel feel more optimistic for the future of, of uh, Enhancer. And I hope we, I really hope that we will see this rework for us. Uh, which will do a rework on the totem system because it's I'm on my own opinion it doesn't work anymore as well as it did maybe somewhere in the past so I hope we will sooner or later we will see some kind of a rework of that and here also a good example you see me trying to kill this healer and I have to admit on my own I'm not capable of doing that yeah I'm absolutely not capable, even when I would not have um, enchanted my weapon with uh, Elemental Force, even when they would still be enchanted with uh, uh, Dancing Steel, I would not be able to, to kill him by my own. What's weird? Because Nucian is capable to do that, because of his damage. 
especially of the burst damage he's doing in with wings and whatsoever uh, is available to to to, to uh, retribution paladin he is capable to do that i'm absolutely not <laughs> this is so disappointing it feels like hitting a, like a warm <laughs> it's really sometimes it's pretty sad to me but the uh, <sighs> Let's wait and see what we will have on level 100. Also, I did this week some testing on doing some live stream, and uh, okay, it's it's it seems to be so that uh, doing some live stream or doing some streaming at all by using uh, by using what's called a play cloth five uh, doesn't work like I hope it would do. Yeah, um, still have some issues with that, and it. It doesn't work like I, I would wish that it would. So, okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. And sooner or later also I will do some investigation so that I find out what the issue is or what the problem is to fix it so that we will be able to, or I will be able to do some live stream by, uh, over Twitch by using Lake Law 5. But uh, I also did some testing and uh, successful streaming it was just a test with uh, War Thunder Ground Forces um, by using Shadowflight NVIDIA software and um, this pretty uh, this worked pretty well and um, I'm, well, why I'm gonna telling you this is because um, next week I will start to do a regular stream maybe once or twice per week I'm not sure about that but I will do so yeah and uh, we'll see how this will solve out. I mean, it's a new experience. Uh, all it can go wrong with that is that uh, I will learn something from it. Yeah? I don't say that I will stay forever with that, but uh, I think it's, it's something new that I should try out and we'll see how well this will work. So I will do some live stream uh, from the next week. From Monday, maybe, I don't know on which day I'm going to live stream. You will get to know. That, that, that this is something I can, <laughs> I can I can assure you but I also thought about and uh, maybe you would like to watch that because I have like zero zero experience when it comes to Warlords of Draenor absolutely no I not even played for one second because I have no access to uh, played not even for one second the um, closed beta yeah so I have zero experience everything I will I'm going to there is new for me for me yeah uh, when it comes to leveling my character and I thought maybe you would like to see uh, me playing from level 90 to level 100 and how long it will take but uh, I'm a little bit concerned because with my luck I think this will suck so so hard for me <laughs> I will be this, this something is telling me in my brain Gamble, this is going to, to to kill you. It really does. I don't know why, but I think this might be tricky. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe if you if you're interested in watching that, just uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you're thinking about that. And now we're going. Uh, one of my last fights I'm going to do in this video is pretty hilarious. You're, you 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 will see fighting me against the very very bad rogue and I don't mean because of his skill I mean because of his equipment yeah, I mean it seems to be like this is the worst rogue there it is because of his equipment I mean he's hilariously bad equipped <laughs> trust me <laughs> it uh yeah won't be his lucky day first of all you're trying to kill this guy but yeah, killing killing a druid is always uh, yeah. Kissy kissy chasey chasey. I'm not going to play that against him. And there it is, the worst rogue there it is. Depending on not his skill but on his equipment. I, I mean, look at this. He's like doing no damage. He's fighting not bad, yeah. But look at this. He's doing no damage, no damage at all. <laughs> so he's a everything else than. Good prepared for the, for a fight against a player who is fully equipped with PvP gear, and yeah, 
there it is, he died. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are coming to the end of this game and also to the end of this video and all that's left to say from my side is thank you for your attention, feel free to subscribe to my channel, also uh, share some love with the thumb up button, until next time here, Super Gamble!